Hi, Irene Diamond, and I'm here interviewing my father, Dr. Milton Diamond from the University of Hawaii, John A. Burns School of Medicine. So Dad, what's the definition of intersexuality and how does a person know if they are intersex? That's a good question. First of all, an intersex person is someone who has characteristic, biological characteristics that are both male and female. In this. So in other words, there are people who are born with one testicle and one ovary. And they, they wouldn't know that necessarily. Or they could be born with uh, chromosomes that are X and Y, but instead of X and Y in different combinations. Mm -hmm. So typically we know of the typical male is one X and one Y. Typical female, XX, okay? But there are individuals who are born XXY, they have three chromosomes. Or they may have four chromosomes, or five chromosomes. Right. And the individual won't know that, say, until something happens where they're curious, or they may, for example, want to have children and they go to check and they're not having children. Right. Well, quite often these individuals are infertile, but they only find that out after they go for a check. Well, most people don't go for a check. Right. Or... Uh, so it may not affect their life at all until... It may not it, affect. In fact, the majority of intersex individuals, I don't think they know mm -hmm. that they're intersexed. And, uh, uh, I think that transsexuals, now I'm a minority in this, but I think transsexuals are intersex in their brains. You're a minority in this thinking. In this thinking, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, I think that intersex in general individuals are about 1% of the population. So one so in a hundred. So that means one in a hundred. Yeah. yeah much more frequent than most people think that's or right. even want to acknowledge. That's right. That's right. And like I say, most of the intersex individuals themselves don't know that they're intersex. And so just because they're intersex doesn't necessarily mean that they, again, are going to be gay or transsexual or transgender. It has nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. Right. This is a, a biological situation. Right. It doesn't affect their sexual identity. That's right. Unfortunately, there's stigma and shame associated with these things, so the individuals don't necessarily come out. But they are co coming out more and more because there's nothing to be ashamed about. Right. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Milton Diamond. The University of Hawaii School of Medicine, John A. Burns School of Medicine. Um, if you're interested in things I have to say or interested in the things I've written about, I have a website you can check out. It's under the Pacific Center for Sex and Society. And if you'd like to keep in touch or you'd like me to let you know if I'll be speaking in your area or writing things you may be interested in, Drop me a line, and fill out this form that's associated with this, and we can keep in touch. Thank you.